press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children. Subject Social Science. Topic Globe Sign Maps. Geography. Okay, class six. In uh, previous class, we already study about what is globe. Isn't it? We know about the globe. In this class, we study about maps. Okay. Now we study about maps. See here children, maps are very useful in the geographical classes, okay. They are very good teaching aids, maps also very good teaching aids for geography, uh, by geography classes, okay. What is map children? What is map? Map means what children? What is map? Map means a diagrammatic representation of the whole earth. What is map children? A diagrammatic representation of the whole earth. It is called map. Okay. Or a part of earth is called map. Understood? What is map children? A diagrammatic representation of the whole earth. Whole earth or a part of earth is called map. On a flat surface according to scale is called a map children. See here what is map? Map means a diagrammatic diagrammatic representation diagrammatic representation representation of the whole earth of the whole earth okay whole earth understood children a diagrammatic representation of the whole earth or a part of the earth is called map is called as map on a flat surface according to scale is called a map understood diagrammatic means what children drawing or sketch drawing or sketch so earth are part of the earth it represented in the form of drawing in the form of drawing is called as map the globe gives us general information about the map use detail you know, detailed information because different in future will learn it will get all the information All the information, political, physical, land surface, minerals, uh, sources, etc. So in globe, when you, when we use globe, you cannot get all the information. All these information map gives very detailed information. Children, the science and art of map making is called as cartography. What is called children? Carto. Graphy, the science and art of map, map, map making is known as cartography. Cartography. What is cartography, children? What is cartography? It means the science and uh, art, the science and art of map making is called cartography. Okay? are known as cartography. The science and art map, map making is known as cartography. Understood children? There is um, his history, geographic, uh, civics and many branches of social science. Science and art of making map is called as cartography. Both science and art is need. Both of the map, map needs knowledge. Okay. Uh, the collection of various types of maps. And then in the form of a book is called as atlas. Understood children? In thing, I think uh, you supplied with a uh, atlas. All of you seen the atlas. You have atlas. You seen the atlas children. In atlas you will have all the maps. Details of the maps. All types of 
maps all the continents maps or countries maps will be given if you have referred to the word all information you will get children we have to use atlas also next now we study about the types of maps types of maps types of maps children let us move on to the maps there are maps based on scale children see here are you saw children maps it is map see here it is map children it is it is map understood children okay see here there are maps based on scale we have to uh, divide here there are maps based on scale and maps based on purpose there are two types of maps here we see two types of maps first one is based on scale and second one is based on purpose understood children that is based on scale there are two types here we see we divided into two types first one is based on scale maps based on scale based on scale okay and uh, second one is second one is based maps based on purpose maps based on purpose okay there are two types of maps that is based on scale there are two types here based on scale based on scale scale there are two types here also two types two types large scale maps and small scale maps large scale map large scale map and second one small scale maps okay children there are two types of maps in based on scale here also there are two types of maps large scale maps second one is small scale maps okay see here first one is large scale maps and second one is small scale maps large scale maps are divided into maps cadastral maps cadastral maps and topographical maps here also we divided into these those these maps represent small areas this can be divided into cadastral maps and another one is topographical maps okay cadastral maps show individual property understood topic uh, topographical maps show detailed surface features okay children see here cadastral maps mean showing individual property of an area individual property it is showing individual property of an area for example in bangalore particular area will be taken it is shown particular understood individual property of an area which is children cadastral maps understood it is showing individual a property of an area for example in bangalore particular area will be taken next that area will be highlighted isn't it it uh, area will be highlighted all the information will be there in the map children next topographical maps means uh, data a detail will be given that is extent of the area the value of the area ownership of the land understood at uh, to whom this land all the details will be there in the cadastral once again see here children uh, cadastral maps now we study about cadastral uh, map 
the detail will be given that is extent of the area the value of the area ownership of the land at whom this at whom this land all the details will be there in the cadastral okay topographical map shows detail can land, detail surface features surface features surface features uh, it means that is can land surface mountains rivers etc will given in the topographical uh, topographical maps topography means geographical features okay next what is small scale maps children see here they represent large areas small scale maps small scale maps they represent large scale uh, area such as world countries continents okay children this small scale maps are further divided they represent large areas small scale maps they represent large large areas world continents or countries there are two types of maps here all maps are uh, see here the small scale maps are also further are further divided into wall maps and class maps okay wall maps are you very well children isn't it they are larger in size wall maps are larger in size than the atlas isn't it they are used to teaching aids okay in the geographical class for different purpose to teach the geography we use wall maps they are hang on the wall children isn't it in geographical class so in history class we have to use maps understood we uh, we are hang on the walls isn't it in your classes and it will be show understood they show general and important features such as political divisions physical features etc children almost all the information reg uh, regarding a uh, country continent will be shown in the map in our school also we have to use maps isn't it globe understood children atlas atlas the maps in the atlas are smaller in size atlas are smaller in size in a book you cannot to expect large area to represent so in the atlas smaller in size but give some information children when you get some information we, when you refer through the atlas okay if you look at the atlas you can go through uh, the see you can go through the see all the features of political physical which are the rivers in a country or uh, and the boundaries everything all the detail can be seen in the atlas okay see you can refer to the large scale map in the page of number uh, page number 142 children see here 141 understood open your book page number 141 large scale map understood see you can refer to large scale map in the page number 141 look at the map children for the small scale map you can refer page number 142 once again i will repeat children maps based on scale isn't it large scale maps and small scale maps maps based on purpose physical map now here we see maps maps based on now we study about maps based on purpose purpose okay we already learnt about based on scale now based on purpose children isn't it maps based on purpose 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 children okay see here physical maps they are also known as thematic maps they are also known as thematic 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 maps okay thematic maps children they are they are also known as thematic maps they can be classified into physical maps political maps 
physical physical maps okay and uh, political maps political maps okay and then we see here distribution maps distribution distribution map okay distribution maps we divided into based on purpose here also we divided into these maps children physical maps political maps and distribution maps okay physical maps it represent physical features it represent physical features okay such as uh, for example mountains plains plateaus rivers etc children okay rivers etc in detail political map show the political boundaries between the states countries continents their locations area etc okay it means political aspects of almost all the Uh, countries can be seen in the map children political map and then distribution maps this maps shows particular this map shows particular are definite features children definite features such as uh, land uh, you land use where are the agriculture lands we see distribution in uh, we see in distribution map, maps where are the agriculture lands temperature uh which area will have types of what type of temperature distribution of rainfall okay population which are the densely population areas and the scarcity population areas okay we easily understood children use this maps types of soil natural vegetation what are the plants and trees ground crops uh, minerals uh, industries railways roads waterways etc children so all this detail you can see you can see in the distribution maps our school will have all these types of maps children isn't it our school also have will have all these types of maps children next move on to the components of a map okay the basic now we study about components of the map components of the map components of the of a of a map okay see here children what are need to make a map when we are making the map what are need children the basic components of a good map are title see here title okay next uh, we want scale okay and then latitudes latitudes okay and then uh, latitudes and longitudes longitudes uh direction 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 and then and index also we need children when we are making maps we need title when we are making maps we need title scale latitudes and longitudes direction and index so these are needed to make a map these are the basic key components of the good map of a good map now we learned all these components one by in detail one by one by one children first one is title first one is title okay see here title a map should have suitable title children to know about the content content of the map for example india 
see here india physical features isn't it our india political etc okay next the scale scale a scale is a ratio between the distance on the map okay and the corresponding distance on the ground it helps to know the distance between the two places it helps to know about the uh, between the two places on the ground now the distance between the two places on the ground the distance between two points on the map are closer than the actual distance on the map okay next latitude see here what distance how much distance one place to another place one country to another country one country to another country and distance is shown in close we will make the map and show you distance children okay see here latitudes and longitudes they are a grid of imaginary lines children it help it help us to find the location distance and direction of places on the map okay they are imaginary lines children they drawn from north to south east south east to west and west to east they are very important to locate the places consideration that is uh, okay from the equator we are taking to consideration that is distance so the location distance direction of the places the location distance direction of the places we need latitudes and longitudes so we can easily locate the places where are the located okay what is the what is that position etc children okay see here <coughs> next fourth component is direction fourth component is direction children see here fourth component is direction see directions are south by an arrow with the help of north and south easily you can find children out west and east other directions if you can uh, get the north direction you can get the other directions very easily we we can easily find the other directions in a map the direction is shown by the uh, by the symbol of arrow isn't it children north isn't it south okay they are a grid uh, okay sorry see here with the letter n on the top it is north the head of the arrow points of the north once you know the north you can easily find the other direction east west south isn't it children in next component is index or key a symbol used to represent any features is called index a, a symbol used to represent any features is called index children the index is an important component and represents all the features shown on a map various colors and symbols are used in the index okay for example blue color for water bodies green color for lowlands etc isn't it children index key symbols used in in a map is called as index symbols are used symbols used in a map is called index children or it is an important component uh, in the map of course all are important children but to uh, search a place index is very important okay we uh, we easily search the place with the help of index okay various colors and symbols are used in the map isn't it various colors are you saw children various colors and symbols are uh, already we learned isn't it we saw various colors and symbols are used in a map to locate the place uh, for example blue color will locate the water bodies blue color means what it means water bodies oceans rivers uh, sea understood children uh, green will represent the lowlands dark brown color is is used to locate the hills and mountains when we saw the dark brown it is mountains they are mountains understood hills 
look at the map children once again you have to observe very closely about the components of the map okay once if you go through the map or at last you will get easily understand what i am explain explaining children explain uh, explaining okay see here you can see page number 144 see here see here 144 children open your book page number 144 in india map is given different states isn't it see here different states in different color children it is uh, we can easily identify the states particular states isn't it children map is uh, okay colors uh, different colors isn't it different states are presented in different colors in india our indian map see for page number 144 children okay open your book and see this so you can easily locate the places children different states are represented in different colors so you can easily locate the places color places colors okay so places color colors so you can easily locate the places index is the key formation okay key formalitical it is very important children to locate the places in a map now nine symbols are given in the textbook children understood see here nine symbols are given in the book open your book and observe these children nine symbols we have here nine symbols isn't it see nine different symbols given in the textbook international boundaries international boundary see see here first symbol it shows international boundary and then we see here second symbol state boundary it means state boundary here we see district boundaries okay taluk boundary boundary along a river okay national capital the uh, it uh, shows national this symbol shows national capital okay this symbol symbol shows state capital it is shows big city it shows small city or town children we can easily identify the places in a map okay see here to look at all these different things children so different symbols are used look at the uh, textbook children okay open your book and observe these children now we study about uses of maps there is important isn't it, children we use maps okay uses of maps maps help us in many ways children isn't it maps helps us to locate places like towns cities districts state countries and continents okay it is very useful children they show they show the physical features such as uh, mountains plateaus plains coastal areas islands etc they help to uh, they help us to know the major routes of transport such as roads railways etc they help us to understand the distribution of crops mineral industries also etc uh, industries etc maps are very important for military people children at the time of war and for security children it is very helpful for them okay they are important for military people every day you are watching what is going on the um, uh, going on between uh, china and indian border isn't it children they will they will have a map they will study the directions of the directions to all at time of war they find out uh, mountains valleys roads it is very helpful for them children for the purpose of giving security to the country we are surrounded by different countries isn't it children nepal china pakistan isn't it they have to safeguard our borders okay they will use map they will use map purpose of uh, both war and security to place the people this purpose uh, maps are used maps are used 
uh, see here children uh, and then we people will uh, move tourist isn't it maps guide the tourist to their destination children okay uh, for the purpose of gear okay purpose of both war and security to place isn't it and then we see here people will move tourist places tourist places through all over India children, now we will uh, in present days, we will uh, use Google map in every phone, isn't it children, smartphones, we will use Google map, isn't it, it is very easy, easily you can search your destiny. Uh, in your home, your papa, your mama also use this, so your brother, sister, everybody use Google map, isn't it children very easily you can search your destiny without any difficulty isn't it can easily locate the places and search your destiny isn't it you cannot teach uh, okay children see here maps are very good teaching learning aids in the classroom in the classrooms we also in our schools also we are teachers also used maps isn't it it is very important source of the study of geography okay children for teaching even uh, for teaching history also okay thank you children